hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video as it probably says in the title i am putting my little boy in a toddler bed tonight so he's been in a cot now for 18 months uh, we put him in a cot last february and it is now august so probably about 18 months give or take being in our bed a few nights travel cots things like that um but he was two years old yesterday his baby sister is arriving in around 11 weeks and we wanted to just get him in a bed before that and also he can climb out of his cot so i wasn't actually going to film this and i just put it on my instagram stories that i was um putting him in a toddler bed tonight and i said you know wish me luck and someone said i hope you're filming it and i thought you know what that is a very good idea so i am actually going to film the first night of putting our boy in a toddler bed so this is the bed it's from ikea and it was actually kindly just given to me by my friend holly we just had to buy a new mattress um but he's already kind of warm into it he keeps getting in it is this your new bed this yeah. is your new big boy bed. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to sleep in there tonight? Don't do that, darling. Casper, honey, what are you doing? Are you going to sleep in your big boy bed tonight? Yeah. Yeah? So, yeah, um, I don't know how it's going to go, but it's six o'clock, so we'll be trying in about an hour's time. <laughs> I think once he's asleep, he will be okay. Um, it's just going to be getting him to sleep because it's a bit difficult to get him to sleep at the minute anyway. But I thought that was probably the best time to do it um, because he's already quite difficult being, getting putting him to sleep. So I'm just going to show you his cot as well. So his cot is now in his sister's room. Um, or sister to B's room should I say I have ordered some new bed sheets for her and obviously I'm going to lift the mattress up but this is what he's done with his teeth in the last few weeks so he's been biting it with his teeth and he also climbs out but because we've got a monitor we watch him like a hawk and when he starts to climb no don't stand on there it's glass Ow. we actually come to get him so yeah he's literally done this in the last few weeks um and client can climb out so i know it's a sign of putting them in a bed no not playing with switches darling please no we're not playing with switches come on so none of the rooms are quite finished yet either there's obviously only now just a cot in here and then that box is just full of baby girl's stuff and then in Casper's room he's still got nursery drawers which are going to go in the nursery and then he's got this little rail and I'm just waiting for um, a new little weeding cushion and I'm going to get loads of bookshelves on there so I've got some drawers that match this little bedside table um, so once that's it it'll be done but i just wanted to just get this bed up asap we've had it in the house for a week now and i just decided that tonight was the night um because to be honest one of the main reasons is as well i'm just sick of living in like limbo i didn't want this bed just lying around and the nursery furniture still in casper's room because we've had it decorated and obviously you know i want to turn it into a big boy room so he's got like a nice light shade Um, we've decided to keep this gold wall so this wall was gold when we moved in we've had it made a stronger gold it was like a greeny gold Um, the decorator used like a stronger gold so we've just got obviously it's nicely decorated now um and my mum made these gorgeous you're not gonna be able to see it really because obviously they're behind the light but these gore like giraffe blinds how beautiful are they um so yeah i've just got the reading corner to do and then obviously just tidying up getting loads of bits on the wall getting some bits on the wall up there and then i need to buy my bedside lamp as well for his bedside table because this is obviously like a light projector which i do actually use um why is it not working it's not plugged in i do actually use and i will use it tonight but 
that will eventually go in his sister's room so i am going to get him a cute little lampshade but yeah first night tonight wish us luck i'm going to film just trying to get him into bed obviously filming the monitor watching him see what he does and we'll see what happens so we're currently just in the bath um it is nearly seven o'clock and I'm obviously just getting things ready so I've put his projector on which is like a red light I obviously need to shut the blinds and stuff because I've not done that yet um but I've just tucked this blanket down here because I know they do recommend not to put a toddler bed against the wall I really do not think he'll be able to move it even if like a foot fell down there like this gap is really small and the carpet is so thick I just don't think he's actually heavy enough to move it yet. Maybe in like five months time um, and we might readjust the room or I might even have a different bed. As I say, my friend gave me this um, just to see how we got on. So I might even order a different bed. But yeah, um, we're nearly ready to go, guys. A big new bed then. Yeah. And mummy will read your books. Okay. Mummy will read your favourite farmer, John. We're not sleeping down there, are we? Yeah. Let's put it further up. In your big new bed. Your new big boy bed. Okay? Yeah? Is this bed for new big boys like Casper? Because Casper's two now, isn't he? Yeah? Oh. Right, Mummy's going to sit here. And read your favourite books, okay? Yeah. Yeah? Farmer John. Farmer John, yeah. Will we read Farmer John first? Farmer John. Oh my goodness, are you pooping? <laughs> you are a pooper trooper. So, Farmer John's tractor lies locked in the shed. Rusty yet trusty and orangey red that winter the rain comes it rains and it rains it fills up the river and blocks up the drains the river banks break it's a flood water swirls so he is down and he is asleep um, whether it stays that way I don't know um, so I don't know if you can see him there yeah you can just see his little head he's actually not moved an inch um, usually once he's asleep he is quite a deep sleeper so I will go in and check on him obviously I can see him on the monitor anyway but before I go to bed I will just go in and check on him and give him a good night kiss again because when he was in his cot, I couldn't do that. Because one, I am short. I've never been able to do it. I'm five foot one, two. And secondly, I'm obviously pregnant and I've got a big belly now. So I could never lean over the cot and kiss him goodnight. I could literally just go in and like stroke his face or whatever. Um, so it took me probably 15 minutes to get him to sleep. He... We read two books and he tried getting down probably about five times. He just kept saying get down but I'd put him back in bed and said no Casper sleeps in this bed now um, and he said caught sleeping caught and I said no Casper doesn't sleep in his cot anymore. Obviously I was like one I'm not dragging his cot into that bedroom it's not happening I'm pregnant and I did it earlier I'm not doing it at half seven eight o'clock at night. Um, so this is it now like he's literally gonna have to sleep in there um i mean if it doesn't go very well after a good week then i think we're gonna have to buy a second hand cot but fingers crossed that does not happen so we'll just see how the night goes i'll update you in the morning on like if he got up in the night or what time he gets up the only thing i'm dreading is an early wake up so I do actually think that he will sleep pretty much all night because he doesn't really wake up in the night. Um, and if he does, I don't really think he'll get down. I'm not sure. I just, I'm worried that it'll be a bit of an early wake up, but we'll see. 
Josh is actually at home till seven o'clock tomorrow morning, which massively helps because he does usually have the house at 5.45 a.m. So if he, is, if he is up early, then Josh will go with him. But um, yeah, I'll update you in the morning and we will see how he's got on. Obviously, if he wakes up between now and me going to bed as well, I'll update you on that, but yeah. Um, didn't go as bad as I thought. At first, when he kept climbing out, I was like, right, what are we doing? This is a bad, bad mistake. But I knew he was tired, so eventually, I just stroked his head, and also I just sat there until he went to sleep, and it didn't actually take that long in the end, so. Hopefully, it doesn't take much longer than that every night, so yeah success so he's disappeared this big boy stayed in his bed until half six this morning um which is a good time for us to be getting up some people probably think wow that is so early but for us that is not early that is like a nice wake up time you got a book Daddy. that's not daddy's it's mummy's did you sleep in your bed all night yeah. Like a big boy. Do you like your new bed? Is that your new big boy bed? Yeah? <laughs> anyway, um, I did keep the monitor on all night with the noise on. I just turned the screen off um, just so I could hear him. And I probably turned it on like three times within like when I woke up. At random times, um, uh, once I was like, oh my god, he's not in it. But I, like, I had to look a little bit closer and I could tell that he was in there. Luckily his pyjamas are spotty. So I kind of had to look for like the spots. Um, but yeah, he's done really well. And hopefully we continue to sleep like this. Like I knew, to be fair, he was definitely ready for it. Like I say, he was climbing out of his cot. He's obviously chewed half of his cot off. But you do keep asking for your cot, don't you? But it's for your baby sister now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Your cot for your baby sister. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I'm obviously not going to um edit this vlog probably for a few days. So if anything changes tonight or like tomorrow night, and we have an absolute dis oh my god, what is my hair doing? We have an absolutely disastrous night then i will obviously keep you updated but fingers crossed we've just had an easy ride and we've done it at the right time so porridge. that you want some porridge yeah <laughs> okay well we want the porridge too should we go get some yeah let's go downstairs then you put that book back please well it doesn't go in there does it Did you sleep in your big boy bed again last night? Yeah. Yeah? So night number two in the big boy bed and we slept till 20 past six. Didn't we darling? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Are you a big boy now? Do you like your new bed? So, um. Thick dick. Biscuit? You're not having a biscuit, darling. It's not even 7 a.m. I don't think. Good, good. You're not having a biscuit. Good, good. You should have eaten all your porridge, shouldn't you? Biscuit. You'll have to wait, okay? Biscuit. We're not having a biscuit, mister. Wait. Yeah, wait for your biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> you are funnies. Biscuit. Um, anyway, yeah, so we didn't go to bed till just after 8 because we were busy last night. Um, it was my brother's wedding rehearsal and Casper is a page boy and he was honestly <coughs> running wild in the church because there was no chairs or pews in there. Um, and I was literally just like, he's either going to crash or he is not. Um, and we did leave him in here while he was awake and I said to Josh, that's a big mistake, He is literally going to be up and he wasn't, he didn't even get up once, he just went straight to sleep, whereas in his cot he always used to try and climb out and then we'd come back in and he'd think it was funny, um, so I think it's just the fact that he can actually do it that makes him not want to do it, 
Whereas with the cot, he couldn't do it. Well, he could if he tried hard enough. Um, he did climb out once or twice. So yeah, that is, look at my state of me. <laughs> that is us putting our little boy in a toddler bed. So um, I don't really know if I've got any tips. I would just say, just time it right. Um, don't rush into it. If you have baby number two due, I would definitely do it before that. Because I even read online to do it before that because the last thing you want is a newborn baby who's not sleeping very well and then putting your toddler in a bed and then they don't take to it very well. Um, I know a few people Casper's age who have not taken to it very well um, and then I know people that have done it a lot sooner and they've taken to it fine so I think it all just depends but I think because Casper is such a strong-willed character the fact that he can actually get out is better for him. Whereas in his cot, he was, because he was kind of trapped, that's why he always tried to climb out. Because it was like we were putting him there so he couldn't get out. Whereas now he can get out. He's not actually that bothered about getting out. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we, it all stays the same. But he stayed in the bed every night. I think if it wasn't for this little bed guard, he definitely would have fallen out by now. Um, so, yeah. I am a Hiya, Mummy. You're hiding from Mummy. Um, so now it's just waiting for the rest of his room to come together. Um, I need to buy a nice, I think I've already said this, bedside lamp. I need to get these matching drawers together and then I need to do his little reading corner. Which currently looks like this. Hiya, Mummy. So thank you for watching, guys. Um, the bed I will link below, it is from Ikea as I've said before and also the little bed guard is from Ikea. I'll link his bed in as well. That's from Next. Um, and then I'll link his duvet and his pillow. I think they're both from Amazon. I can't remember if I said that I've just took that blanket down there as well so it doesn't fall down the cracks but I really don't think he'd do that anyway. But he likes climbing into his bed now and just hiding under the covers like this. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys and we'll see you in our next video.